Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Here today, we're going to answer a question I get from time to time. Does meloxicam raise blood pressure? Does the medication, the pain and inflammation medication meloxicam cause hypertension or increase in blood pressure? It can. Possibly it can. It's a reported side effect in up to 8% of users. So 9 out of 10 or 92% of people who take meloxicam do not report an increase in blood pressure. So it can occur, not super common. Um, NSAIDs, which is a class of medications meloxicam belongs to, can also cause fluid retention. That fluid retention can contribute to that high blood pressure. It does seem like meloxicam is less likely than some of the other NSAIDs, but the risk is there, and being an educated consumer, you can monitor for that and let your doctor know um, about it before it becomes an Remember, NSAIDs, NSAIDs, the class of medications that meloxicam belongs to, they're non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. They work well for pain and inflammation, as well as treating fever. Some of the most common ones are naproxen, Sold over-the-counter as the brand name Aleve, ibuprofen available over-the-counter under the brand names Advil and Motrin in the U.S. Uh, Meloxicam, of course, was, is sold under the brand name Mobic. Now, keep in mind the side effect of meloxicam, as well as these other anti-inflammatory drugs, can increase with higher doses and longer durations. Um, these medicines work very well. I use them myself from time to time. One just has to be aware of the potential side effects and often can mitigate any um, any bad side effects from occurring if we're mindful. What are the main concerns with NSAIDs that we really want to watch out for? They can cause uh, stomach bleeding and ulcers, which can be very serious. Uh, heart attack and stroke. If you're already at risk of heart attack and stroke, using NSAIDs such as meloxicam, ibuprofen, naproxen may not be a good idea. You'd want to talk to your doctor. You want to balance the risk benefit of these medications. Uh, they could also ca cause serious uh, rash and skin reactions, and it is not recommended after a heart attack or after heart surgery or after any cardiac complications. The risk seems simply too high to recommend this. Again, that's something, a conversation you can have with your doctor, but we're always trying to manage risk benefit. There is no medicine that doesn't have a potential side effect, but they also have benefits. So you want to see um, you and your doctor can decide if it's appropriate for you. Appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed the short format video where I answer a, a simple question. Ask comment or ask questions below in the comments. Be sure you talk to your doctor or your primary care provider if you have any concerns about meloxicam or any other medications to see if they are safe for you. If, if you feel like you're having side effects, be sure you uh, get a hold of your doctor right away. Thanks for watching.